Lord El Gantare, Master Ryuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us another day with new life. For our spiritual growth and creating a utopia on earth, with our sincere gratitude, let us recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. They are used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow, arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is a land of love or the land of mercy. This is a land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is a land of souls resting peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down at a small boat. So you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pound in the stream. Then you can change your course. The true words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words. And Buddha's teachings became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens the pure days. Or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by. Yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other, let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is an eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night, the dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite some people to Buddha land. Now here I command. There shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distress in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirits in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another, that world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we bow to do so.
prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Gandare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this plant of love earth, protect us from all evil, and open the future for us. O Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Now we will have some time to dedicate our deepest gratitude to the Lord. Good morning, everyone, again. Uh, today, I want to talk about the true meaning of uh, the exorcism by using this book, The Real Exorcist. Uh, I have a question to you. If you feel or think that uh, something, if something bad possessed you, what do you feel or what do you think? or even where will you go? Anyway, uh, what is the next action of you when you feel like something bad uh, spirits possessed you? Uh, someone might say like, mm, I'm get so tired than usual, so, so I need to sleep faster, earlier uh, than usual. Or uh, another people might say like, mm, I need to go to the, my church and I'll ask my uh, priest to exercise my uh, evil spirits. Or uh, some people even might say like, mm, I need to go to the, my church to get some holy water and I'll uh, put my finger into the water and like uh, make a cross. Mm. In this world, there are a lot of ways to exercise actually. I don't know it works or not, though. And we, Happy Science, also have a lot of teachings about the exorcism. And, and also, we have a lot of temples in this world. So I've been uh, to the like, temple that is in a, a foreign country, and I met a lot of people. And some people uh, asked me, like, when I was in that temple in a foreign country, uh, I met a person and who 
who ask me like, please uh, exercise my evil spirits and please kick them out from my mind. Because happy science have the uh, ritual prayer that is so spiritual and special uh, prayer. So we can pray for them and like, actually we can exercise the evil spirits for them. But like every time, of course we can do it, but I need to say the one point to that person. So when I was asked to uh, ex exercise, uh, I need to say that I can do it temporary. I can exercise your evil spirits temporary. Mm. Why is temporary? Why is it not eternal? This is a, a main point of this today's talking. Please, uh, for example, uh, the word of angels and the word of uh, devils. Uh, there are the two worlds. And I think the angels and devils cannot live together. I think so. And you also think so like that, right? But have you thought why? Why they cannot live together? Mm, because of the difference of their appearance or because of the difference from their thinking? Mm, actually, no. It's because of the difference from uh, their mind. Their mind is different. So that's why they cannot be together in the next world. I mean, the, after you die. So this is a, a key point of this, uh, of the ex exorcism. Actually, like, please imagine that mm, around the angel, what, what kind of things surround? Or, for example, the devils, what kind of things uh, are around the devils? I think around the angel, uh, it might be the like fairies and like other angels, and even uh, there might be the god. And how about the devil? The, around the devil, I think uh, there are another like evil spirits and even devils, right? So there is a, a rule of the spiritual world. The mind attract something that is similar with. This is a rule of the spiritual world and golden and eternal rule. If you know the truth, if you understand the truth, you can also understand the true meaning of the exorcism. If you have the mind of angel, you and devil or evil spirit, spirits cannot be together. And if you have the mind of like kind of bad, like evil spirits, the same thing will be attracted because of your mind. So it depends on what kind of mind you have. The spirit that is attracted will be different. So keep, so to exorcism, you need to keep learning the mind of angel and God. As a result, around you, there is nothing but spirits. It is the true meaning of exorcism. So to keep um, state of your mind as just like an angel, you need to learn what is the mind of angel and what is the mind of God. If your mind is like an angel, the an other angel will uh, be attracted by uh, your mind and they might give you the good inspiration. If you keep learning like every day, there is no time to be attracted like that uh, the evil spirits can approach you. So every day's training is the most important thing, okay? 
So then the next, how you can know or how you can learn the mind of angel or God? It's so easy to uh, say the answer. The learning our happy science like book and music and movie. Then you can learn the true truth of the other world and you can understand the rules of the spiritual world. Then you will know what is good and what is bad, evil. So when you feel like mm, something bad possessed you, it must, there uh, must be cause and effect. Your mind is like, like evil spirits, that kind of spirits will be attracted. Right? So, everyday training is important. Not only using like holy water, not only you uh, going to your church. Every day, what do you do for your exercising as an important thing? Okay. Then, uh, let me read from this book. There is a preface part. You, we can learn the true meaning of the exorcism from the preface of this book. Uh, to achieve this end, you need to disi dis dis discipline yourself every day, studying the truth, undergoing spiritual discipline, having faith, and practicing altruism are indispensable. If you believe yourself to be someone special and become conceited, or if you are constantly swayed by greed, anger, and delusion, you will not be able to find salvation. The habit of humbly and diligently making efforts will also save you in the spiritual sense. So diligently is, means like every day's effort. Hmm. It's needed if you won't really exercise your evil spirits. Okay, so this is uh, uh, today's most important part. And for the last, I want to talk about uh, one more topic. As the uh, preface teaches us, uh, I want to talk about uh, humility from this book. Let me read that part. I teach the importance of staying humble, not just because it is a good virtue. By maintaining humility at all times, you can also protect yourself. So please maintain this virtue. On the other hand, those who are quick to become conceited or arrogant or boast about their achievement or abilities over drinks can easily be shut down. They are the type of people that cannot objectively see themselves, and they are easy targets. So even if you are a spiritual person, please be humble. Actually, every person is spiritual, so in you are not that special. Each person has the mind of God, and each person are, is the children of God. So every person has the spirituality. So even if you, are, you feel or you think you are a spiritual person, just try to be humble. Because you, when you get arrogant than usual, this is a chance to be attacked by the evil spirits. Okay? So when you uh, want to the, uh, ex exercise the evil spirits, please remember that you need to train every day. I mean, learning, keep learning the mind of God and angel, what is good and what is evil, to attract the same thing. This is the, today's first point. And second point is uh, be humble. Even you feel a spiritual person, please be humble to protect. It's not only virtue. This is a pra practical way to protect yourself from the evil spirits. And for the last, I want to uh, tell you 
uh, when you fight against the devil or evil spirits, do not fight alone. When you fight uh, against the devil or evil spirits, uh, you should come to our temple, or if you cannot go to our temple, come to our temple, uh, just call our God's name El Cantare. Then the angels or God uh, will protect you the light, and you can get the light of heaven or God. And by using that light, you can exorcise exercise the evil spirits or devil. So, if you feel like um, something bad possessed you, your mind might be like that spirits. So, so that's why I need to say, I can, you know, in our ritual prayer, we can do it. I mean, to kick them out from your mind, temporary, not eternal. Because it depends on you. If you want to kick them out eternally, you need to train every day. Okay, this is a secret and spiritual, and special uh, teachings about the real exorcist. And also, if you know or learn the teaching of uh, the happy science or El Cantare, you can be also the real exorcist in modern age, and you can also uh, practice or do it for others. If you can ex ex exercise uh, yourself uh, evil spirits, you can tell the truth to the other people. It's also the part of the exorcism. And you can, we can make the spiritual screen together and come to our temple and pray together and like sometimes take a, a ritual prayer and learn the mind of God and angel. Actually, as a result, it's making the spiritual strain. In that screen, in that room, the, any, anything bad cannot approach you. So every day is pray, and every day is reading a book, and listening a CD, and watching a movie. It is the most important thing to exercise. So mm, I think it's kind of different from your uh, you, you, you thought like because mm, every every person uh, like you know for every person the exorcism is like you know kick them out uh, using some tools to exercise, but it's not a it's not a true meaning of exorcism. Every day's effort will protect you. Okay, and now we are uh, we have the new movie. Uh, the laws of the universe, the age of Elohim. So please contact us if you are interested in watching this movie. Okay. Right. So this concludes Happy Science Morning Prayer. Be strong and brave. Stay positive, powerful, and constructive. Have a nice day.